Hello Pisces, I am here to do your second half of December bi-weeklies. Somebody is running a damn leaf blower outside, so if you hear that, I'm really sorry. Hopefully it'll be done soon. Um, I got on Shuffle the song for you guys was Self by Khalid, and it's basically he's talking about he's always had a little trouble with self-reflection. So maybe you're in a self-reflective state right now, coming into the new year, kind of wrapping up this year, evaluating your year. I see you very much so um, assessing, assessing and getting ready to shed, shed the old, start new. So let's take a look at what the cards have to say for you, Pisces. Um, overall energy between you and another person for the second half of December. King of Pentacles. So you could be dealing with an earth sign. You could be dealing with somebody who's offering you a commitment. Or you could be going through like career changes. Um, but I do think commitment, a, a commitment is on the horizon for you. Or just some new, some new commitment. Or just deciding to take a step further. Could be promotion. Could be... A relationship taking the next level you're kind of trying to get there you're trying to get to the become this king of Pentacles six of wands you're trying to get to victory um, and I think victory for you would be to establish like groundedness and establish like you know a strong foundation and as that king of Pentacles you know that is a hard-working hard-working person who doesn't really, who's got control of their pentacles, they're, you know, they're on top, and they are very committed, committed to the cause, to whatever it is that they put their minds to, they're committed to it, so I feel like you're going to be coming into some victory, and it might be on the heels of doing some self-reflection and seeing like what you need to tweak about yourself in order to have that success. So let's see what the individual energies are. Ooh, we got the Knave of Cups. We've got the Queen of Wands in the, um, in the Mutual. And then we have the Knight of Swords here. So that Knave of Cups, I believe, is you. I believe it's you. And I believe you're trying to step into this power. You're trying to step into this creative energy. Um, step into this power of allowing, allowing what's meant for you to come for you. I do see here that there is somebody rushing in with news. You're really nurturing your feelings right now, though. You could be wanting to tell somebody how you feel also. I'm getting a gist of like there could be a situation or um, that's too many. But that nine of wands, I am going to keep it in my mind because what I'm about to say, it's resonating. Um, I think these this past year, maybe you've had like a string of relationships or in the past like decade, you've had a string of relationships that all seem to end the same way. You seem to have the same result with the your relationships. So you're kind of taking the time to think, how am I the common denominator for this? And um, I think you're trying to, you know, make these shifts, make these changes, because I do think somebody's coming into your realm here that you do like, but you're kind of like, how do I make sure that this doesn't happen with the other people? Like, what is it about me that keeps causing these relationships? And I feel like ultimately you are looking for that commitment. Um, King of Swords, I feel like you're going to have to be very honest with yourself in this like last few months, especially when you're doing self-reflection. Like, how are you keeping yourself from, you know, um, being successful in your connections? So I think it's a time to be like very direct, honest with yourself, have a conversation with yourself and kind of tend to those feelings. Here we have the Knight of Swords and this other energy. That's a message coming in for you. Um, I do think it's in regards to work because we do have the Seven of Pentacles here. It is in regards to something that you've been investing time in, investing your energy into. Um, you could be a business owner. You could be 
in the creative field, you are getting news here. You are getting news coming in in regards to this. Um, it could be a relationship that you put a lot of energy into, a lot of time. Um, but I do think it's work related. I do think you're going to get a message in regards to job coming in here. <clears throat> Five of Swords, Star Card, and the Knight of Pentacles. Ooh, another offer. You guys have news, and with that news, an offer is coming in. With that news, an offer will be coming in, and it's coming at a time. I feel as though from this year, you feel very defeated. Um, you could have competition in regards to this opportunity you're wanting, whether it's a person, whether it's a job, there could be competition here. But the star cards in the mutual energy, so you get wish fulfillment, and there's also healing here. There's also a lot of healing here at the end of the year for you, because I do feel as though you've been feeling this sense of defeat, but the year's going to end with a victory for you. Empress, you've got this new beginning. And the new beginning is being birthed out of you finally, you finally confronting yourself. And when we can be, when we're honest with ourselves, when we're really like, you know, don't bullshit ourselves, it's hard to admit and it hurts to admit certain things that we're the reason that, you know, things don't work out, that we took part in it. It can be really hard to admit that sometimes admit our own faults, but as soon as you do, you give way for the healing that can happen. You can forgive yourself, let go, move on. I know that's going to be triggering for a lot of people, like, um, I, how can I be at fault? They cheated on me. Um, you know, but it's like, and, and I've been there, I've been there, and I'm not, I'm speaking from like a place of love and spirit not really from my own personal experiences, but sometimes when we assess our relationships, like I keep getting screwed over the same exact way. So what is it about me that's allowing that? It doesn't even have to be that you're doing something messed up. I don't say blame yourself, but think like maybe you need to raise your standards. There's a lot of red flags that led me to that point that I just ignored. Maybe I need to lift my standards. Why am I allowing this? Why am I... You know, these are the questions you have to ask yourself, and it can be brutal. It can be really difficult to do that internal self-reflection. But when you forgive it, heal it, move on from it, recognize it, let it go, you're going to get these opportunities coming in. So here's this Knight of Pentacles coming in with an offer. What's the offer? What's this Knight of Pentacles doing here? What is this Knight of Pentacles doing on the table? Come on, give me something. Give me something. Nothing wants to come out. God, that's too many. All right. Um, there we go. Six of Cups. This could be some, some past situation, some situation you've been really nostalgic about. Could be coming in with an offer. I'm going to pull one more because I'm not. It's like the opportunity that's coming in here. Okay. It's going to be a situation from your past that is almost repeating itself. And it's like, how are you going to handle it differently with this newfound knowledge about yourself? So we've got the lover's card, we've got the nine of cups, we've got the moon card, and we've got the world card. You could be waiting for this offer to come in from this past person, um, or it could be a past life soulmate. Could be a past life soulmate, you're waiting for that soulmate connection to come in, you're wishing for that person, you're wondering where they are. Um, it's... It's past the point of you learning about your shadow self. Like you have to learn about the shadow self and embrace that shadow side to yourself. And it's like only then will that um, will that come into like it, it's taken a while for it to get here, but it's coming. It's on the way. 
here with this Nine of Cups energy. You've got wish fulfillment, the star cards here. The moon is just getting past like all those, you know, dark, dismal places that you don't want to shine light on. And closing a chapter, closing a chapter, starting a new one. I really feel like you're doing some shedding right now. You're doing some serious shedding and you have a new beginning on its way. So seven of swords, three of wands, higher fan. This for me is like, if you want that commitment, if you want that victory, you're really close to it. It's just making a mental shift. Like, how are you blocking yourself from this connection or whatever you want and moving forward? It's like you're stuck. You're stuck in a limbo here. You've been stuck in a limbo and it's a matter of like something that you're, some belief you're not letting go of in your mind. Your ship is coming in, though, and we got the Hierophant here. So commitment is on the horizon. It's like you've been wanting this for a while, but you have to get there. It's there waiting for you. You have to get there. And by getting there, it's like you having this serious conversation with yourself about moving forward, about releasing, releasing, like, this story that you tell yourself, like, everybody screws me over, everybody's hurt me. And, like, really be honest with yourself about how you're contributing to that. Like, are you going for the right people? Are you not reading the, like, red flags when they happen? You know, are you allowing yourself to go further into the rabbit hole when you know you shouldn't? Because there is, could be another water sign coming in here. What, another water sign, another Pisces, or maybe even a Cancer, because we do have Cancer energy here. Um, and there's... There's somebody who's going to be, you know, they're waiting here. They're waiting here for you. This could be somebody from your past. This could be, like, somebody that you've been in a cycle with, um, somebody that you've been with before, um, somebody that's ready for you, but because of the story you've created in your head, <clears throat> you're already expecting this person to hurt you, to abandon you, and that's kind of something you have to work through because at the end of the day, you've got the commitment and the victory that you want. You just have to get there. You have to allow your mind to get there. So Pisces, that is what I'm seeing for you. In the extended, I'm going to be looking more into who this King of Cups is. We'll look into what messages they have for you, actions being taken towards you, advice from spirit, as well as what is blocking this connection. Because it's obvious you have news coming in about a job, and within that news, you're getting an offer here. So um, decisions to make, reflections to do, but I see you, I see you ending the year with some kind of victory here. So um, in the extended... I will be looking into all those things. So if you're interested, click the link in the description box and I will see you guys there. Bye.